I am Katrina from the Gorgeous Geeks, and I'm standing next to Renando, and he is uh, the founder yeah. of Superhero Stuff. Dot com. Uh, tell us about your website. Tell us about um, why is your website different from your merchandise different from uh, all the other retailers out there that are selling things on the internet. Sure, Katrina. We've been around for 10 years. We uh, are the largest superhero t-shirt retailer online. We have tons of different t-shirts, and we're growing every month. We get new product. We have a lot of uh, rings. We have sterling, not sterling. We have uh, stainless steel rings. We got a lot of uh, baseball caps. We're working with manufacturers to produce more product. Uh, toddler tees, uh, little onesies that a lot of mothers like. We just got a lot of stuff happening. We have a huge Facebook uh, fan base, about 78,000 fans. And we like to tell people that one of the differentiators between superhero stuff and, you know, maybe our competitors is that, you know, it's a, it's a uh, run by geeks where the company is run by fans who read comics and enjoy comics. And we uh, like to bring comics to, or not comics, we like to bring superhero t-shirts to the world. You know, get people in touch with their superhero. What's the hottest selling thing you have? The hottest thing we have right now is the, um, I would say, online, there's online and then in the convention. Online, it would be Superman. The Superman plain vanilla uh, royal blue t-shirt is number one, always will be number one. And here, it seems like the Captain America Distress Shield, the Wonder Woman camisole set with the panties, um, that's doing pretty good, and Green Lantern rings. Yeah, of course, because of the movies coming out and everybody wants one, right? Everybody wants one, yeah. It's like Green Lantern's the rage. I'm concerned about it, though. Being a geek, I'm really critical about all the, the superhero movies, though, but uh, let's hope that it's good. I like that you are a geek and that you're over something like this, because uh, I think it connects with the fans. Um, so what would you say to all the fans that have like stopped reading comic books and that are going digital? What would you say to the fans about that? I would say that there is a uh, thing going on around now called um, Buy a Comic Day. Buy a Comic Day is the third weekend of every month where we're trying to get people to, who haven't purchased a comic book in um, a long time, who like Superman, who like Batman, who are a fan, to go out and buy a comic book at their comic book store. Just buy two comic books, two new ones and two old ones. It doesn't cost that much. The paper industry is declining. Was it borders? Just shut down. So everything is going digital, but it doesn't mean that the comic book has to go away. I have a digital, um, I purchased a year's worth of digital comics from Marvel. I have yet to open it and read it but there's nothing like holding a paper comic book in your hand. Especially when you got a cat that throws up, you could roll it up and smack it. <laughs> so you can't do that with a digital comic. Right. So. Right. Okay, well go to SuperheroStuff.com, especially all you UK fans out there. I know you guys are looking for things and places to buy stuff too, so go to SuperheroStuff.com and just look it up. Look it up on Facebook, buy some merchandise. You will not be sorry that you did. And I'm Katrina, signing out.